Okay, we're going to be stripping these four wheels. Uh, show you the bin. I still got five microwaves, all transformers with the bin so far. I put the microwaves up there, some up there, and then one more appliance, I guess, and a bunch of small stuff. And then the Mealy I found the other day is aluminum frame. I'm just going to sell it dirty. If the price is good, I'll sell it. But we'll see. So we're going to trip this. Well, lot of tension, these things. Bolt cutter works good, but don't buy a cheap bolt cutter. Buy a, a good one. Because last one I bought was rigid, but it was crap. I know rigid's probably usually a good name, but this one's a piece of junk, the one I got. And it wasn't cheap. So just, uh... Pretty simple. Simple to do. Different style one here. Or different bike. Some of these could be stainless steel, so uh where's the black one here? Usually stainless steel, it's a little chewier. Cuts doesn't cut. As good as this. This feels a little, a little stronger material, and I think it's harder to cut. good value I think it's worth stripping you don't buy it dirty anyways right they don't buy it because it's just too much steel on there okay, I'll finish these two off and I'll throw this in the heavy metal some of these aluminum but these are all steel okay okay I got the five microwaves here we're gonna see if there's any copper half copper no copper we'll see so we're gonna go through all five I'm going to strip them all. So I'm going to show you. I'm just going to strip one here. Just so you can. Transformer dropped. Just so you can kind of see how I do it. A little copper mortar. That's why I kept the bench here. Perfect height for stripping these. Okay, then what I do, sometimes a couple here that can come out. Usually safety screws here, so what I do, sometimes a screw here, but there'll be safety screws in the back. open like that and what I would do don't touch the capacitors but just cut the capacitor leads right away so that's how you hear look like copper but not copper So both sides aluminum and and very good looking, you know. So those are transformers. 
And then what I'll do is, there's a mortar here. Dusty this one. And then you'll have mortar. There'll be lots of plastic and crap like that, but anyways, plastic will fill here. And this one here. With how it was clipped on. So this appearance looks like copper. Probably copper. And there's a circuit board here that I take. This has got uh, a copper spool right there. Cut whatever we can off this here. Clean up a little bit. It's a relay of stuff on there as well. Wire. Not selling every piece of wire, but just get a little bit of wire. Oh, this has got a really nice big chip here. So first, I pop off the transformer. Transformer, copper. Then I want this board here. See what I mean. Remember, it doesn't matter what you do with the board, break it, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's not about uh, the board. I don't want that chip. Could have gold, bond wires, who knows. And then here, magnet drawn here. Four bolts. Some bolts go the other way. You might have to break the cabinet more, but this one I think just goes straight, straight up. Should come right out. Plastic here. We'll just chuck it. Bolts not loose. So with this thing here, best thing is you don't want to damage this insulator. Just in case it has brillium, could cause you lung cancer or something like that. Anyways, it's dust is dust, right? So try to disturb that. But if you take take this apart, we'll just maybe we'll do it quickly. In case you've never seen one before. And some fold differently. That one breaks that way. So I'm used to the other other way. But and if you, you do a lot of scrap, that's brass. There's a magnet here. See if I can pull it out. It's stuck in there. there it the magnet is always good to determine your scrap. So it's always good to have if you're kicking around. And then what I do with these ones here, you can pry them out like this. First first couple will pry out. Right. There, I'm gonna open this side from here. You can find the copper leads are right here, a little bit added value. Copper is copper, right? There it is. It's your copper, and then what I, I like to do with these things on my cutter. I 
I usually just cut these. Cut them really close. They usually come off after you cut them. This one's a little bit of pain, but anyways. That's aluminum. Kind of mangled this one, but. I think I answer the phone. But anyways, you got the point. This one I mangled, but you take them all out. But okay, so what we did is here, if you look at this thing here, this actual thing is copper, but the two ends are steel. Some people cut it. I don't know, it's up to you. If you have time on your hands, you can do it. But don't damage the insulators. Some of the insulators contain beryllium, so... So what I would do is just just kind of store them for now. They don't they don't buy them dirty. So it's pretty simple. Let's clean it. Then this is shred. That's aluminum. Steel. Two steel here. Brass. Actually brass goes. This is brass here. And that's aluminum. Some have more fins, some have less. So that's the complete strip out there. I tried putting in the vise, but next time I'm going to see if I can get something where I can kind of like a vise, I can crush it sharper. Because this is probably just pressured in there, right? I just wonder if I can cut it with a shear. Yeah, but... Uh, so you broke the insulator, so you don't really want to, you know, break the insulator. It creates dust, right? So, anyways, so that's that. So, I'm gonna strip the rest of these. We'll determine if there's any, any um, copper transformers. We'll do a ratio. Okay, stay tuned. Copper, and it's a uh, General Electric. So, just want to stop here to show you half copper. So maybe. Should be a pound of copper, I think. Because it's got a quite a bit of winding there. So okay, so the other one was aluminum. Second one, third one, half co half copper. Okay, we will keep moving. Well, this has got a different IC chip right on the board here. I don't want to take the whole thing apart because then the door is all over the place. I just want to take this chip out of here. It's got gold all around it actually. Right there, a nice looking chip. First time I've seen a chip like that. Okay, we're going to keep moving. And then we're going to tell you exactly what we have. And we're going to clean the copper and see what it comes out to. Okay, okay this one's got uh, double copper. Like I said, you don't know. It's, it's like a hit and miss. This one's a Danby. Danby's a cheap one, but it's got double copper, so very heavy transformer. So you just you don't know. You have to kind of uh, take them apart. So you know you, you guys are throwing these things in a shred. But, you know you could be throwing you like seven eight dollars in the garbage, right? Let's cast there. Why well, look at it? I go through, I check everything out. You'd be surprised how some things are built, even though it's cheap. Cheap model. Could be the power wattage too, right? After so many watt power wattages, you have to put a you know a copper transformer. I'm not really sure. Or they get sent back too many get sent back, they burn out. Like here. This one, uh, side blue out. Magnetron right there. Side blue out. Right? That's the one that said do not use. So it probably sparked the crazy. Okay. We had copper on the tops. Um, one had, uh, full copper. So it's almost like two transformers. And you know what? The bottom is not really much. The top has lots. So let's, uh, let's whack this baby apart.
two glasses on to be safe. Wow. It's a bit of a tough one. Come on. Little on the side. Once that little piece, there's a filler piece in there, that steel, when that comes out, it just wants to fall away. Okay. That's the one, one side of copper. So what we're going to do, this HMS, don't forget. I'll be HMS. Let's double cover. Yeah. So we'll do the double cover next. And I'm just going to keep it separate. Just so you can see what comes out of there. A little bit harder here because there's a plate here. So too easy, see that? Just too easy. Okay. Now. Remember there's a spacer there. There's one, two. Once that spacer comes off. Copper. Okay, so these two go together. I'll have to clean them up a little bit after. Just slightly both to go together. Just together. Hmm. It's a little different though. Weird how the first one was so tough. He was falling apart. So, it's a little bent here, so straight out. It was jammed in inside the vise there. Okay. Let me clean these up here. We'll get the scale on. It's exactly what we got from those five microwaves. Plus, you know, there's other stuff we'll show in a second. Okay, okay. Finn is uh, looking good. Microwaves are in the back. Uh, well, you know, the bigger appliance could fit in there. Okay, these were uh, the single windings. Let's see what we have here. 1.3 pounds, just a single wire. So one and a quarter pounds. Another single winding. One point two. Now we have this is a double copper we had two point two pounds. Okay, so now we're gonna put all the copper that's we have out of the transformers. Four point eight pounds, four and three quarter pounds right now. So that's awesome. Almost five pounds. You can remember that we had five. We had one was a double. 
two transformers had single top windings only. Here's this aluminum. Uh, almost three quarters of a pound aluminum. So okay, now it just transformer itself if we take it out. Seven and three quarter pounds. This is bigger and heavier. Is 9.4. So even though we'll go look at this, we'll add these two up here. So 17 pounds, say. And I was getting before 30 cents a pound. So uh, that's um, five bucks transformer. So either way, it's still worth stripping no matter what. Don't forget, this is copper here too. This is added value. That's maybe an ounce, just over an ounce each one. Right, that's all copper. Even this red one here, I put a file on there. I was suspicious, but it's definitely copper. Then we have a little transformers here. We have five. This one just got taken off the board still. This is 1.2 pounds already, just that. So one and a half pounds basically of transformers. And these, these don't forget, are also going to be copper inside. Copper spool. Almost a pound, 0.9 of a pound. But the good part is here, I got all these little circuit boards. Look at the big IC chip. I'll be taking the IC chips off. That's a real special looking chip here. Never seen that one before. These little coils of copper. Little relay boxes. So to me, it's worth taking apart. And don't forget the wire. All the wire that we took out. We probably got at least a pound of wire minimum for sure, I would think. Between all, all of them. So... You know, extra value, right? That's what I say. It's a hit and miss, right? Sure, sometimes you don't get them, but sometimes you get a whole bunch. And this is a perfect random, randomly showing you. Five pounds of copper, basically, right? Over five pounds with, if you start adding everything up. This one, I'll throw in the aluminum. Oh, that's the wrong bucket. And like I say, for these ones here, if you guys are kind of not sure how to strip these, I stripped them before in a video. But all you do is put on a vise. And just get a screwdriver. Boom. Just like that. It's so simple. It's like it falls out itself. See that? You can strip these out in no time. See that? And then you can put the stuff in heavies. Heavy metal. And then all you do is you, you pull that out. Pull it out. And I get myself a cutter. Cutter. I've shown you before, but take a cutter like this, use a table as leverage. Table. See that? How easy is that? The microwaves are everywhere. Get them all the time. And you just have to unravel it. You know, some rubble there. You can cut one end off and do your do unravel that way if you want, but I think it's more of a waste of time. Time is time is time, right? If you have your time, or you can sit home do nothing, or you could just play around with your copper. Anyways, uh, you got the hint there, and this one here. My hammer. You've seen how fast the transformers popped apart. This one you can just bang, bang it a bit. Find a little tool. Bang it a bit, pop it out. 
gears and stuff here. There it is. So now you have kind of mangled it, but anyways, same thing here. You can unravel this tape here a little bit, and then just do the same thing here. I'll use a cutter, different cutter here, like this. Yeah. Yeah, it's like human hair. Twist it a bit. Boom. That's pretty heavy. Let me strip this and we'll add the extra value. Ah, forget it because I actually got to run. He's behind schedule today. Let's figure it'll beat the snow because it's supposed to snow. Let's see what happens for tomorrow. The problem is our snow is really wet. When it snows, it's a nightmare here. See that? You can add a value here. Don't forget, you, and you, you also have the wire that's in the magnetrons there. A little bit of wire. You have aluminum still. I took those all out, right? Okay, I think that's it for, for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just trying to show you guys how to make extra money. So let me guys, uh, I see you guys constantly throw stuff in the shred. Well, to realize, you know, start making all this extra money is you got to start cleaning stuff. It's the only way you're going to get ahead in this business. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.